Today I want to talk about something a little bit different, not directly hobby related, though I guess certainly pertinent to it. So today's more of a discussion type video. I've been thinking a lot as uh, I tend to do at night in bed preventing myself from sleeping and uh, one of the things I've noticed for myself consistently, persistently, frustratingly is hitting limitations that I have a hard time dealing with. So I'm kind of wanting to think about and, and go over the concept of accepting limitations and what it means and encompasses and whether it's good or bad somewhere in between, kind of things like that because it does apply to uh, not only hobbies but other aspects of our lives and I felt like this uh, could be an interesting topic to go over. My most recent example of this would be with Valorant. Uh, those of you watching the channel may have seen a couple videos and then I was streaming it uh, and I was putting in hours and hours and hours every single day wanting to improve and see how far I could go in it. Um, and once the game released and things were kind of moving, tournaments were taking place, I hit a wall upon the realization that I cannot find a team currently. And it's not that I couldn't go out and uh, try out for a team, but potentially get onto a team to continue to improve and participate and things like that. It's that I can't in good conscience join a team with my current health issues where there are just days where I'm just not available. So I, I can't join a team, spend a bunch of time practicing, refining skills, setting strats, dry running things and all kinds of stuff only to have tournament day or league day show up and I'm like, oh, sorry, I um, can't, can't be here. I'm just, you know, it's one of those days. Like, it's just, it's not fair to the rest of the people that put in all of the effort. So that for me is a current limitation. And that particular issue is something that has arisen in so many things. And that's kind of my uh, persistent issue that causes limitations. Uh, that is really, really aggravating. So while this is just my personal, you know, uh, limitation that I'm talking about here, I want everyone to apply this to anything that you may have in your life that feels like it's limiting you or like you can't currently find a way around it, through it, over it, whatever. You can't pass that point for some reason in your life currently. Now for me, when I hit that wall, it's definitely something that causes me to lose motivation. Like it's, it's just like I put so much time into this and I really, you know, would like to see this through, but I don't see a way to make it happen currently. What do I do? What is the path? And it, it's something that I struggle with for sure. And before I get too far into this, I, I just want to be clear, I, I don't have an answer for this. This is me kind of sharing my thoughts and seeing if there are others that have similar experiences and what we can do about them. So I've tried to think of ways to come at this to make it not beneficial because it's still a, a roadblock, an impediment, something that is not ideal or not favorable, but trying to view it in a better perspective. And one of the two ways I'm trying to look at this is I can try to plan around when I will be better. So what can I do now so that when I am able to do these certain things, I'll be in a better position to do so. Like I haven't lost as much time or progress or whatnot. What can I do solo? Like for, for say Valorant or any other team activity that I really enjoy. What could I do in the interim to better prepare myself for then? while still keeping the motivation up and things like that. So it's, it's you know, kind of a different kind of progress. Like it sounds simple and it feels simple, but I've yet to really fully be able to, to accomplish it. Now, granted, I haven't fully been able to deal with my health issues, and that's the second side of it for me personally, is what can I do to better my health? I think it's really easy to pile onto things as well. So when something doesn't go right, you hit that limitation that you can't necessarily overcome, 
you start to add in other little things that maybe weren't going well or weren't going right and that just kind of compounds it and makes it feel so much worse. It's like it has a way of not necessarily saying, you know, you can't do this now. It feels like I can't do this ever. And I think that's a key point, at least for myself. And again, this may not be for everyone that, that runs into limitations that they have problems with, but I think for me, a big thing is it feels like I can't ever accomplish those things and like I'm running out of time. So if I can somehow switch the mindset to, okay, I can't accomplish this now. This is a limitation, I have to accept it. If I can accept it now and be okay with it, maybe not, maybe okay is a bit of a strong word, but deal with it and have the right mindset, then maybe I can adjust and focus on things that will put me in a better place to be able to then accomplish those goals after I'm physically able to, or mentally able to, or whatever limitation is is in front of you, you're able to overcome that. You set yourself up for a better scenario afterwards. This of course assumes that the limitations in front of you are uh, ones that can be overcome. Obviously there are some that just simply cannot, uh, but this is this is more for those that can, I assume. Though I suppose that being able to accept limitations in general is probably a decent thing for your mental health, but it's not easy. It's really not easy to do. So maybe if we reframe this, what if we look at it as instead of, I'm not able to do this thing, I'm strong enough now to accept that I'm unable to accomplish this in my current state. Frame it as strength instead of weakness. Because it takes mental strength to handle these things. So if we do that, maybe that yields a better resolution in the long run. I don't know. Just a thought. Obviously we didn't go full on into every little detail, but that's just, like I said, something that was on my mind a lot lately and I've been dealing with it for years now. I've gone through so many projects and so many things that I've wanted to accomplish at a, a you know, whatever high level that I, I'm seeking to and have been unable to for whatever reasons, number of them being, you know, physical health, mental health, etc. And so it's something that's kind of plagued me and I think I wanted to talk about it to try and get my thoughts out there in case anyone else uh, experiences anything similar, that, that feeling of not being able to overcome something and uh, what can be done about it. So like I said, I don't have the answers, but I thought maybe uh, a little back and forth here might be, might be interesting, beneficial, at least for me, because I got my thoughts out, hopefully for some of you out there, but definitely share your thoughts down below if you think of anything similar or if you think reframing and changing your mindset would be a good thing. Either way, whatever anyone out there is going through, I sincerely hope that you're able to overcome it and accomplish anything you want to. That's enough out of me, I think. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to y'all next time.